Covering Georgia, a group of Republican state senators want to make sweeping changes as to how elections are carried out in the Peach State. Now, this includes ending no excuse absentee voting, which currently allows any Georgia voter to request a mail ballot without providing a reason. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy is live this morning. So, Jennifer, this comes after Georgia saw record turnout in the November election and January runoffs. Good morning. Georgia played a key role in the presidential election and also in determining the balance of power in the Senate. This morning, several Georgia lawmakers are really focusing on a series of bills aimed at changing election laws. This was the scene during early voting in the Peach State. People wrapped around buildings waiting in line to cast their ballots. The high volume turnout set records, ultimately flipping the state blue for the first time in nearly 30 years. Fast forward to today and several Republican lawmakers are pushing for changes to the state's election laws, including measures that would ban ballot drop boxes, require a copy of a voter's photo ID to apply and return an absentee ballot, and automatic registration, which is currently offered when you renew or apply for a driver's license, and limit the number of reasons people can vote absentee. That's a measure supported by Georgia's Secretary of State, who had to repeatedly defend the results and integrity of the presidential election. He has called to end no-excuse absentee voting. For perspective, more than 1.3 million people in Georgia voted in the November election through absentee by mail. That's higher than the number of people who showed up at the polls on election day. And these are just some of the measures that have been proposed to change election laws. More than a handful have been introduced. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.